Hi everyone, Zeke Retier here, back with another video, and today I'll be reacting to all of Lewis's Japanese cutscenes that I found during my playthrough or walkthrough, whichever term you're going to use, of RV4. For those of you guys who want to get straight into the video, you can go to the 2 minute mark of this particular video. But for you guys staying behind, I'll give you a quick update on what to expect in the upcoming video. So essentially, I have all of his, um, all of Lewis's like cutscenes included in this video, and even like the calls you get from Lewis, I've included as well, and maybe even some quick conversations that happen while he's walking. Obviously, I haven't included every single conversation while they're walking, but for those of you guys who are interested in seeing literally everything Lewis has to say, I do recommend you check out my full walkthrough video because everything will be there for you guys to see. So if you guys want to get like a comprehensive look at the Japanese dub in action, feel free to watch that video for your own entertainment. In regards to anything else, I would like to note as well is that Lewis is actually voiced by, oh, I forgot the name of the voice actor off by heart, but um, he's voiced by the same guy who did Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. He has a very distinctive voice. You guys, if you've seen the Japanese of Yu-Gi-Oh, you can quickly tell it's him, uh, basically. So that's pretty cool. And we also have Leon being played by the same voice actor as Sephiroth from Final Fantasy and Dante from Devil May Cry. Um, Toshikawa Morika- no, Toshiyuki Morikawa. <laughs> so, yeah, we have that pretty good cast overall. If you guys are interested in seeing the whole, like, full cast, check that in my video description because I'll be having all the voice actors present in the game mentioned over there and, like, stuff they've worked on in the past and stuff like that for your own pleasure. But yeah, with that out of the way, let us begin the main video. Starting off, we do have our first encounter with Lewis in the underground. I think it's the end of chapter two, as you guys will be seeing now. It's pretty cool as well that like even the Japanese voice actors do try to embrace the Spanish side when they are speaking Spanish. Well, so it's kind of a cool to meet each other. Leon just got knocked the hell out. <laughs> I can't remember, does anyone remember if, like, um, Osmond here actually appeared in the original game, like, in this kind of, like, flashback thing? I don't remember it, really, but, yeah. So normally... Actually, I don't know, like, Yankee in Spanish, like, is that supposed to be like, be like a slur? Because obviously, if a non-American person uses Yankee, it kind of is a slur, so... In Spanish, I have no idea, maybe it's a slur, I have yeah, no idea. But in the Japanese stuff, they just say America, well, Lewis says America Jin. So. <laughs> But for the most part, the Japanese script is quite uniform alongside the English dub of the game, so it's quite consistent. So if you guys do want to like learn Japanese, I do recommend you can always play the game with the Japanese dub and English subtitles to kind of like practice your listening ability. Because it'll be kind of more or less one to one. And it's pretty consistent in that regard, so Yeah, this season was brutal. Like I don't remember it that like in the original game. I was like, damn, like this snapped his neck like, like neck like that. <laughs> Mada, what did I do? 
Mata na, amigo. But yeah, Lewis has like more of like a scumbag, like scumbag look in this game compared to the original one. I don't know why, maybe artistic choice or whatever, but I was like, oh, kind of an interesting one. But the hair physics are on point. それよりは褒めてくれないのか。よくやったルイスってな。必死で隠したんだぜ。奴らにとっ捕まる前によ。だから。こうしてまだ生きてる。But then realize like how show the cutscenes are compared to like the game as a whole like the game's like maybe what 14 hours 15 hours or something like that but then most of the characters like actually is probably the most like long term apparent character in the game but then she's only got like 15 minutes no like half an hour of cutscenes and like damn i'm like when you put into that perspective like wow there really aren't a lot of cutscenes huh <laughs> for sure and then now we have a phone conversation. ほら、こちらルイス。今どこにいる家に帰りたいとこだが、その前にお城を観光中だ。どこに行けばそうだな。城の中庭に来い。そこでお茶を。but for those of you guys who understand Japanese as well, do you believe in terms of like localization and like going forward, all scripts should just be made in English and then translated from English instead of from Japanese then to English and whatever else? Because it feels like a lot of people, like myself included, feel that localization is kind of at the point where it's kind of out of control. And I have spoken to other people who've like done Japanese translations from Spanish and like uh, Italian and whatever. But it seems like their way is kind of like more like the OG way. Where they will just kind of um, translate it plainly, right? But it feels like in particular with English for whatever reason, if it's been done from Japanese, like so many things is just kind of bastardized, unfortunately. And I don't know why it's only English and not any other like European language. <laughs> it makes no sense, really. Ask Stubbs, eh? Laku ni natta ga. Ah, kita yo da. Ai ni ku, kono kusuri wa jikan kasegi da. Kouka wa nagaku wa tsuzekanai. Zanmen nagara. それでも行くか。俺のことはいい。アシュリーを優先する。だとしたら、やることは決まってる。マイルゾさんチョパンサー、ドゥルシには悲鳴を救いするのだ。Yeah, this Lewis is definitely more, I don't know, what like romantic or romanticist than the old one. Like he's just like really out there with his ideas and body language compared to the original one. So I guess in that regard. New Lewis ain't too bad in terms of just being a funnier, I don't know, funnier person, I don't know if that's the word to use, but he's just more dynamic. Yeah, basically, that, that sums up what I want to say. Oh, I had like a bad, bad luck with this boss fight. Because every time I spy the panel and then the giant were close back before, they were in the middle. And as soon as I touched the button, they just immediately charged out of it. And I was like, really? Really? Yeah, one for each one. <laughs> But I will note as well, for those of you guys interested in obviously this video without my reaction to it, I do plan to upload it in the future. But unfortunately, if we have an issue with YouTube, they'll be saying my contents like reuse content. 
and even though I recorded it myself, edited it myself and whatever. No. But, but yeah, whenever I somehow get monetized and I don't really have any problems, I do plan to be uploaded to video for your convenience. But um, if you guys would want to get access to it earlier, I am planning on maybe open up like a, what's it called, like a, a Google Drive account or whatever to put my videos up there, like my unedited videos and whatever. So if you guys are interested, feel free to comment me in the comment section and I'll be glad to hear what you have to say. <laughs> Typical Resident Evil, it's like, yeah, they won't make it easy for you to get ahead. Okay, so I can get ahead. Okay, now we have our final conversation with Luis coming up now. Well, kind of final, or... ああ、そこ言うのは久しぶりだ。わからないやつだ。なぜ それでもこれ以上犠牲者を増やしたくない。ならもっと真面目に働け。従者にしちゃ厳しいな。いや、the <笑> あ、ただなぜここに。どうしたんだ。ええ、ちょっとアクチュアリーインゲームフォーツーロング。ライクアドゥハブライクアボスビットライクボスファイトビデオ。そして、ディガスドゥワンシーライククラウズインアクチュ
And it's like, Lewis was only reading the game for like 14 minutes. I'm like, damn. I was like, wish we could have seen more of him. But... Time waits for no man. The way he just like died like that, I was like, shit man, that's like really impactful. Just, just full of life dead and he just like puts his head back in the, like centering his head back in the middle. And then yeah, that's it, like damn. Okay, and that brings an end to my Lewis Japanese dub cutscene reaction video. For those of you guys who enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. That helped me out a decent amount. And as always, if you guys have any feedback, maybe on how I can improve my videos and stuff like that. Feel free to get in touch because I'm always keen to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, but going forward, we do have the Ada video coming up and the, not Sadler, the Salazar. I always, forget, I always mix them up, Sazla, like Salazar and like Sadler. But we have the Salazar video as well. So two more videos left that I'll be reacting to. And of course, if you guys are interested in obviously the all cutscene videos without my commentary on top of it, uh, feel free to message me because I am planning to either upload them on Google Drive at the moment or maybe even Mega, I'm not too sure. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas and stuff like that, feel free to get in touch. And until next time, take care and goodbye.